Inheritance allows one class to inherit the traits or behaviors of another class. Imagine we have a, clear, a chair class, and that chair is able to understand its own position. Where do we place that chair or position that chair within a room? Fair dump the position of the chair. And of course, if we were to new up a chair and then run that, we would get new chair position. And we'll just run that real quick. PHP dot slash example dot PHP. We'll get position of the chair. But then imagine we also have a lazy boy. We have a lazy boy chair. And it's a recliner chair. It can be reclined. Well, it still has a position, but do we really want to duplicate that position right here and then rerun the same logic? No. And it also has more behavior than our base chair, and it can specifically recline. Ver dump recline chair. Just like that. So instead of duplicating the position behavior, we're simply going to use extends to extend from the chair. So recliner chair is a child of the chair class. And just like a parent and a child in real life, the child class inherits the traits or behaviors of the parent class. So if you want to do recliner chair right like this, we could do position. And then we could also do recline. And if we just run that real quick, we have position of the chair and we have recline the chair. The next thing to understand about inheritance is polymorphism. Now, polymorphism is a pretty basic concept in object oriented programming, it's pretty ubiquitous and seen pretty much everywhere. Um, that being said, I don't like to reach for it as much. Um, I prefer to reach for interfaces and demand that a class have the method instead of overriding it or reaching for composition over inheritance in general. Um, and we'll go over interfaces um, and how they act as contracts in a following video within object-oriented PHP. Um, so back to polymorphism. We're going to start with probably the most common or familiar example of polymorphism. We have an animal, and an animal makes a sound. And then we can have a dog class, and the dog extends the animal class, and it overrides the sound of the animal class and says, okay, echo wolf. Well, notice that we have used the same method in our child class and in our animal class, which that dog class overrides. Notice that we have used the same method in our dog class, the sound function in our dog class that our animal class uses. We've overridden the dog class. We could continue this and say, class cat extends animal as well and the cat class overrides the sound and echoes meow and of course if we were to go down here and say ver dump new cat sound we would get meow and ver dump new dog sound we will get, oh, we actually need to return those if we're going to do that. And we will get the sound that a dog makes in comparison to a cat. And just to prove that, we'll go up here and we get meow and wolf. And the last thing would be because we haven't actually put anything in our animal class's sound function. If we were to use ver dump new animal sound, then it will not do anything. It won't output anything. Um, so that's an example of polymorphism and how you can override 
a child class method of the same name as the parent class. The biggest takeaway of polymorphism is that when you have a function of the same name that the parent class has, when the child class dog, for example, defines a sound function, and the child class animal also has that sound function, the dog class will take priority when you instantiate an object from the dog class. If you were to instantiate an object from the animal class, then obviously it doesn't know about the child, and thus it would just be empty. So that's polymorphism, guys. You override the same function with the same name and give a slightly different behavior. Next, we're going to talk about using inheritance to make your code more presentable, more usable by future developers. Um, one of my favorite examples of this is Laravel form requests. Um, and so basically we have our default request class. And just for the sake of example, I'll add a few functions here. You could do request query, and this would be the request query parameters. Uh, you could have another function that would be the host, and that would be the request um, host name. And then you could have public function uh, protocol, which would be the request protocol. Protocol referencing HTTP versus HTTPS. Now you can have a function right here that accepts a request class, right? And you could do something like maybe this is a, a controller callback. And so you could say when somebody, and this is how Laravel would do it, when somebody hits the route of test, we want to create a callback function, and we'll make that example, and accept the request using dependency injection, which is not a part of the scope. And then we want to return the request query or something like that, right? And obviously we haven't actually returned anything in our query, so this is gonna be a warning. But a way we can create a really cool um, validation setup for our request and how Laravel actually does it is they'll have these form request class that extends from the request. And in the form request and the form request class, it actually has the authorize function is the user able to access this endpoint or this request. And so this will return a boolean and we'll say true. And then we'll say, okay, public function messages will be basically air messages. And then there's also in Laravel these rules and it will take the request input or request attributes and it will say, okay, if the request has a name attribute, so somebody posted a form, one of the form input fields were name, then you can say, authorize name based on based on validation right here so Laravel has a pretty cool wrap around it where it says you can use required um, and then I believe it's like minimum length of or maximum length of 255 you know etc 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 and so by using polymorphism what we can do is and using dependency injection a little bit more other things but this is just setting up polymorphism in a uh, an api digestible way for future developers you can actually replace the dependency injected request class with the form request class and whenever you inject this into the constructor or into a callback function just because laravel understands that a form request is the extension of a request, but the form request is meant to add functionality for authorizing a request, behind the scenes Laravel will validate the rules using the request. It will enforce the rules using the request and return the messages when a validation rule is failed. And so do something like that. Um, 
so yeah guys so that's a cool example of setting up polymorphism and i obviously i didn't show a few steps there because there's a lot more to dependency injection that's way outside the scope of this but once you start to understand some other really cool concepts you can bring this full circle and start using inheritance as a way to actually present your code in a better more readable more understandable uh, manner and it's it's really cool in this sense because normally the validation would go inside of that callback function right there so if you just had the request then you would have to say if request query you know name equals or does not equal you know whatever then throw slash exception um, invalid data but by setting up inheritance in a way where it kind of adds or augments to the current functionality of your request and it augments the authorization the validation rules and the validation messages you can remove this chunk of code and move it to the um, whatever is injected into the callback function or injected into a constructor so that's some pretty cool stuff and that's probably one of my favorite examples of inheritance you being used in a really valuable cool somewhat unique but ultimately valuable way so guys if this was useful like and subscribe and in the next lesson we will get on to abstract classes and then interfaces and then finalize everything with encapsulation so we have three videos left uh yeah guys if you like this like and subscribe and i will keep them coming Separate.